Through the bushes. Oh, y'all do it. Mechanic in at the end of the day, boys. See this thing? It's no good. It's almost good, but no good. This is a dry shaft carrier bearing. You have one of those when you got a really long shaft like us guys. See there's the back of the transmission. Transmission. First dry shaft. Carrier bearing. The rest of my shaft. On down to the rear ends. So I gotta take these four bolts loose. And then, and that one, and there's another one here on the other side. And then when I get those six bolts loose, this back shaft will come down. Well, then when I get the first bolts loose, this back shaft will hang down free. And then I come up here and get these loose, and then that'll come down. Then up there at the transmission, it just slides out. A slip yoke, they calls it. So we'll get this thing pulled out of here and set on the back of the other truck and go from there. Make sure you get your 12 point socket for this one. See the points? Look at all the points. 12 millimeter, 12 point. 6 points. 6 points. This is a six point and a nine sixteenths. If you don't mind. One more good safety tip. Before you go uh, pulling the bolts out of your drive shaft from the diff there, you should set your parking brake. And if you don't set your parking brake, at least park another truck behind you close enough to catch this truck when it starts rolling backwards. Oops. See? If you forget to set your parking brake and you take the dry shaft out, make sure you have a parking brake truck behind you. Right, Muffin? Parking brake truck. You can't even tell! See? What it is, is I had the newer truck in the front and the older truck said, Give me a kiss! What's going on over here, Muffin? While I'm changing out the bearings on my shaft, Missy's painting the box. Mailbox, that is. The mailbox. Chocolate. We're painting it with chocolate. Ooh. It's really cheap Clearance. chocolate. Clearance chocolate. Best kind. Now we got that outer metal casing peeled out of the way. And before you go cutting and grinding on that rubber and metal on that bearing there. Make sure you cover your end of your shaft up all nice and pretty. You don't want to get uh, metal shavings all over your grease and stuff on there. Because it's like a keyway there, like a threaded shaft. Or not threaded, but it's got like splines on the shaft with grease all over them and that splines into something on the other shaft. You don't want a bunch of metal bits in there. That would be no goo. So we get that all covered up and then we'll fire up the grinder and start peeling all that stuff back.
the main part right there. This is dry shaft, that's bearing. So after we get all this stuff out of the way, that's the main thing we're trying to get to to cut out. And then when we slide the other one on, we stop here. Don't go back there like a goof. Just like a goof. Take our new burn. Precision burn. Precision burn. Now the new bearing. See? Pretty new bearing. Comes with this dust shield. I'm assuming that's what that is. Then clearly it doesn't go on this side because no fit. No fit. But in my experience in the two that we've put on this truck over the years this thing doesn't really fit on the other side very well either see like that is centered on there and you would think looking at the lip that this would just fit underneath here and maybe under that edge and hold it on but I have fought with this for a long time before the last couple times we put this thing on and as far as I can tell this does not fit inside here when you do get that thing jammed in there behind those uh, edges it ends up being way off center like this and this stupid dust shield always falls around and starts grinding on the dry shaft and when you get it in this the black edge and this silver metal down here it makes this bracket pop apart pretty much every single time so I don't know how necessary that is but I'm going without it because it's stupid